What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Ripple Van Winkle is back on this beautiful Thursday mid-morning. I am in day four of pre-quarantine. I do have my testing today in about two hours, give or take. Hopefully we get some good news. It has nice to been working from home, get some time off, relaxing. I am really tired though. Extremely tired actually. Anyways, enough about me. Let's go. Let's get into the news. Let's get into the price. What do we got going on? As you heard yesterday, Mr. Van Winkle is bullish for the first time, I believe, on this channel. That is right. XRP currently sitting at 20 cents. It is up 1.58% in the last 24 hours. As I said, XRP is on its way up. 24 cents is going to be a key number to break. I believe we break it without any issues and I believe our next stop is going to be in the 30 cent range right after that. As I said, my predictions still hold by October 14th, I believe XRP will be above a dollar. Write that down, remember that, that is what I told you. Does that mean you should go out and buy XRP with all the money that you have in your bank account? Absolutely not. What it does mean is that you should hold, accumulate when you can, and we're gonna see what happens together. But that is my thoughts, my feelings, what I have seen from going out there and looking over these charts and looking at the price actions, it is XRP's turn, and I do believe we are going to see a rise, and I believe it is going to start up again very, very soon. Enough about that, let's jump over. I sent a tweet out. If you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you give me a follow at XRP News underscore. Coinbase is getting ready for a stock market listing. No timetable set, but it is coming. Obviously, that means either this year or next year. Coinbase is going to hit the stock market. It seems as if they are going to be the first. Ripple will come at some point next year. I have been saying that for the past three months. I firmly believe it. I think anyone is crazy right now that would try to hit the stock market in the times we are in and how the stock market has been performing. Yes, it might be doing well right now, but it has taken a major hit. Many are predicting that it is going to take a major hit around the elections that are coming later in the year. So Coinbase seems like they're going to be the first. I believe Ripple will come next year. I believe we will see a couple more come after Coinbase, but these are exciting times that we are living in. Let's keep it moving. From Otelo Portilla today, he posted as breaking. According to routers, Coinbase has initiated preparations for a stock market listing that could come early as this year, making it the first major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange to go public. Here's the article from routers. Coinbase Inc. has stated, hold on, we got a pop up. There we go. Coinbase Inc. has started plans for a stock market listing that could come as early as this year, making it the first major U.S. cryptocurrency exchange to go public. The listing would need to get U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's blessings. Where the watchdogs to green light it, it would represent a landmark victory for cryptocurrency advocates vying for mainstream endorsements. Coinbase could pursue the listing later this year or early next year, the source said, cautioning that the plans are still subject to change. The company has not yet registered its intention to go public with the SEC, but has been in talks to hire investment banks and law firms, the source added. So major news, Coinbase is going to at some point, either this year or next year, be the first major cryptocurrency exchange to go public. I believe Coinbase was valued at 8 billion and I believe Ripple is valued at 10 billion. So this is very, very interesting. Let's keep it going. Up next from Michael at Val5 Links. Bitso hits 1 million users at crypto adoption spikes in Latin America. Here's the article from Cointelegraph. Bitso, one of the biggest exchanges in the country as well as one of the biggest, wait, I read that wrong. Bitso has already become the biggest crypto exchange in the country. Latin America is one of the most active markets in crypto. Ripple and XRP has a major presence in Latin America. According to the executive, Bitso is such in Argentina, 
is connected with extraordinary crypto activity and an increased demand for cross-border payments in the local market. Argentina has a very large crypto community and a huge freelance user base, Alvarado said, noting that a number of local freelancers are engineering contractors use crypto to receive payments from employers in the United States. So this is some fabulous news, especially for the freelancers that are working in Latin America and being hired by these U.S. employers. Why? Because it will help them get more money back home, especially if they are sending money through crypto and using XRP. Wake up, people. XRP is the future. How long it's going to take to become the future? We don't really know. We, Ripple is still out there building the corridors up and building the networks. That's phase one. Phase two is to get these companies, networks, banks, whatever you want to call it, onto RippleNet and then transition them over to on-demand liquidity. Once they lock them in to that RippleNet contract, there is no reason, no way that they will not use XRP. It just makes sense. Do not let FUD get in the way, especially from people like Pompliano who says, I do not understand why xrp will secede i get ripple how they can secede but i don't understand why xrp will secede he gets it he is fudding everyone understands what ripple is doing and how this is changing the landscape of how payments are sent around the world there is a reason they have called this the internet of value you can move information across the world in seconds but you cannot move money it is 2020 time for this to come to an end up next from digital asset investor everyone must know who he is by now check this out we have a 47 second clip from miguel vias he's answering a question on the biggest challenges for x rapid which is now known as on demand liquidity have a listen Challenges. The biggest hump, I think, for, for X Rapid was getting some of these companies to believe that it was possible to, to offer a better experience than what they were getting at the time in this very bleeding edge technology. Um, no one had ever done it before. So it was us promising them that it was possible and that it was something that was going to be better than what they were pay, but we didn't have any proof points yet. So it took a long time to get folks. Uh, bought into the idea that, yeah, it could be better. And I think it's proving out now that um, in aspects, it certainly is better. Yeah. Back to XRP. There you go. The biggest challenge is to get them on to X Rapid, but it is now proving itself out. Miguel, we miss you. You need to go back to Ripple. Let's keep it going. From the Cryptic Poet. He puts out SCB and Ripple organize an international money transfer for motion via SCB Easy. Otero also put the same thing out. This promotion between Ripple and SCB Thailand will promote four major currencies, including the USD, the Euro, the SGD, and it will cover 12 countries. Here is the article. Let's have a quick read. SCB and Ripple, a provider of payment and money transfer solutions, organized an international money transfer promotion via SCB Easy for only 199 baht per transactions from normal 399. That's half the price, meeting the needs of customers covering four major currencies including the US dollar, Euros, and the Singapore dollar in 12 countries including the United Kingdoms, the USA, Singapore, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, Ireland, Austria, Belgium, and Portugal. Absolutely massive news. How did SCB manage to cut the fee in half? Time will only tell people. Here are the instructions on how to use it. Here are some of the pictures of what the app looks like. The app actually looks very, very nice. So major news and some major adoption going down in Thailand. Love it. Let's keep going. Up next from CKJ at CKJ Crypto News. Make sure you give him a follow. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. He puts this out. London Stock Exchange parent assigns for a financial barrier for a financial barcodes 
to 169 cryptos. And yes, XRP was included, people. Here's the article from Coindesk. Late last month, the London Stock Exchange added 169 digital assets to its SEDO master file service, a global database that assigns unique identifiers to financial instruments. Absolutely fantastic news, but it gets even bigger and better. Why? Because what is going on later this month, July 28th, about three weeks from now? Well, I'll tell you. The London Stock Exchange, Laura Stanley and Aaron Fritz are putting together a nice webinar in regards to the evolution of the digital economy. And they will be going over digital assets and the institutional infrastructure. This is fascinating. I have linked this article or I've created an article on my website, xrprightnow.com. Check it out. I have linked to this webinar. You can sign up. It is free. I am very, very curious as what is going to be said as the London Stock Exchange Group is introducing digital assets to the infra institutional infrastructure. July 28th cannot come quick enough. It's going to be 45 minutes long. Make sure you sign up. I know I already have. I will be covering this. I will be paying attention. We might get some massive, massive news coming out of this people all right that's gonna do it for this video maybe we'll put out another one later maybe we won't i need to take a quick nap before i gotta go to the doctor to be tested for covid hope you enjoyed please like please subscribe please share this content let's get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month that's gonna do it wash your damn hands people purple van winkle is out